it's Sarah and I want to tell you guys about some painting classes well they're not classes they're just me painting videos I should say right that I'm planning for you guys in the coming weeks and I found well I've always known about it artist club is a website and I only have my phone so I can't really see too well but it has on here freebies so you go to freebies and free patterns and they cut they have tons and tons there's there's pages I mean 12 pages worth of free patterns so I went through here and just found a few that I thought would be pretty beginner and easy and um, have now they also provide the wood pieces if you uh, want to purchase like for this one for instance this is by Deb Antonak and Tanakh, Tanik, I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, and what I loved about this one is it's a little bit of mixed media. She did a, um, a crackle background, but then if you can tell on the wings, the wings are actually paper or book pages. You can see it through there a little bit. And um, I just thought they were super sweet. Now, these little, I think the set of three ornaments is available on, at Artist Club. Um, I may just paint them on uh, little ornaments that I already have. And if you don't even want to do it on an ornament and you just want to play and practice, but what I love is look at the detailed pictures they have. So you really can't go wrong. It has all the paint supplies you need, colors and things and mediums, even the brushes that she uses. And then she gives you detailed instructions on how to paint. Um, when she dry brushes and all that good stuff so I'm, I may do it in my style um, and just show you how I would do it and then I found this one which is a canvas tote and it's I mean I'm not crazy about the um, design like it's not necessarily my style but I thought it was super simple that's what I'm looking for I wanted something that would be simple and you guys wouldn't feel intimidated and then you come away with a cute bag, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's kind of mixed media looking, right? So that's another one. And again, it has, and I would show you how to uh, get the pattern on there and everything like that. But you would, you know, be able to do that. They probably sell the totes, but I think Michael's or AC Moore, any of them has the totes. This was another one, and it was houses. And I know I love houses, the wonky houses and things. They have... A, another pattern that I prefer I saw this one first and it's more of an Easter one but they actually have one that's more of just houses house design on there so I think I'm gonna do that one instead um, this was just a cute one that was like dominoes and these are actually wood dominoes and I know that you can get I, I'm pretty sure I may have some and I think they sell them in the wood department but they're you know the domino oh well I put it away but domino size and they're pins and the little Santa belt is super easy this probably is a little more advanced and it's so tiny but it was just another idea that I thought would be cute and then this one this is going to be the first one that I'm going to do and I actually had Joe cut me out some wood this is a pattern by Lori Speltz and this is going to be super simple you guys I think everyone can do this it's super beginner because it's just silhouettes and there's not going to be a lot of floating or anything on here and um, I think the way I'll do the background will even be just brush mixing it's not going to be hard um, and so I just I traced out this pattern and I'm sh these little um, they're, they're quite big. I mean, this is actually probably six inches, three, five and a half inches. And what's great about it is it it's a twofer because there's a, a Christmas. See how it looks like a Christmas ornament? This side, you could do your pumpkin, and then when it comes Christmas time, you could have a little snowman on the other side. Um, so I'm definitely doing this one. I'm going to probably do it tomorrow. I'll film it and everything and probably get it uploaded um, tomorrow uh, but yeah so and if you don't have wood or you don't even you can cut a piece of chipboard out and paint it on that or just do it on a nice piece of watercolor paper and play you know but there's a little witchy silhouette too 
I just thought they were adorable. And a pumpkin, a witch, and like a tree with pumpkins and a, um, they're super cute. But, but really I picked it because it's super easy. So I have already traced out the pattern, the design, and then you just take that and you trace it onto your surface. This one looks a little, uh, this must have been the round one, but I would just move it up. And um, then I, he made me the base, so I would just, you could write Boo Crew on there. See, Lori uses um, stencils, so she probably has all these stencils, but we could just do it. You could stamp it. You could do whatever with it, right? All right, so I want you guys, I'm going to put in the description box the link for Artist Club. We did this last year, but I used uh, a different artist. Her name is, I used, remember we did Plum Purdy? Um, and her name is not coming to me, Renee Mullins. And she has freebies on her website too that we downloaded and we did uh, a couple pieces. So, um, you know, if you guys see something on there that you like and I get enough suggestions or if I like it, you never know. I may decide to do that one as well. Um, but probably this is going to be the first one. It's super simple. I'm definitely going to do the angels because I just love them and think they're a, very, another simple design. So these two are definites. Um, and then I'm thinking about the houses. I think the houses are going to be another one. And like I said, I think I'm going to do it in the um, a different pattern. I think she has several patterns. And these are big houses. Look how big it is. It takes up the whole page. So, I mean, you could probably do... A holiday house on one side and your regular house on the other side um, but they're super big and they're really cutesy they're not they're nothing um, traditional you can change it up if you want if you want to put your own butterfly design or use a stamp or whatever so I'm just gonna walk you through the process and then you can do what you like all right all right you guys that's it for now thanks for watching